Hey everybody, so today I am doing a drugstore makeup tutorial. I'm sure you guys are super excited about that since most of the time what I use is pretty expensive. Um, basically, I just compiled a group of makeup items that I have researched and spent time looking into and making sure they were good products. Um, I didn't want to do a drugstore tutorial with just, you know, your everyday run-of-the-mill whatever I can find kind of stuff. I wanted to make sure that what I was using was like exceptional drugstore products. I wanted to make sure everything I had was really good and usable and like good quality, um, especially for the price since it is drugstore. I did use all Real Techniques brushes instead of using any of my Sigma brushes or any of my other, you know, like Too Faced and uh, whatever. Um, other brands I have. I'm not sure what I really <laughs> have, but um, just so everybody is aware, Makeup Geek I feel like is a drugstore priced brand, um, but I did not use any just because I use it in so much of my other videos and I wanted this to be kind of like, I don't know, stuff that you could usually easily find. The only exception uh, to things that are not easily found really um, is I had no way of even beginning to know where to find Bourjois foundation, which is the foundation that I use today. It's the Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. Uh, if anybody's curious, I use number 51, which is Vanille Claire. My French accent has gotten awful. I'm really sorry to my French professor from high school. So sorry. Um, but it is a little dark for me. The reason I got this one is because a lot of the American drugstore brands are too dark for me and I was trying to find one that would match me a little bit better if you can kind of see like just it's just a little darker than my neck which is not ideal um, but it worked fine I just kind of highlighted in the other spots on my face so it it works all right I don't think I look like super weird um, just based on what I can see in the viewfinder it may end up looking weird in video who knows yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I did everything on camera today. So that's brows, contour, foundation, everything. Uh, so you can see how I did it and which brushes I used, um, how I applied everything. So without any further ado, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. First, I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm gonna use this to prime for eyeshadows today. So this is gonna cancel out any veins or redness I have in my eyelids and help prime for shadows. Then I'm just going to go in and blend this in with a brush. in my inner corners and a little bit under my eyes just to start concealing the darkness around my eyes. Now I'm going in with this Milani eyeshadow. This is in Bella Ivory. I'm going to use this to set my concealer and act as a brow highlight as well. Now I'm going in with Milani Bella Cappuccino. I'm going to blend this into my crease. Bella Taupe and I'm going to use this to define my crease a little bit more. I'm going to use this as an outer V sort of dark shade. Now 
now I'm going into Milani's Bella Champagne. I'm going to use this as my all over lid color. I started out putting it on with a brush. It didn't really work out too well for me. So I went in with my finger to intensify it because I just wanted something really metallic. I was going for sort of a nice, natural, glowy look. Now I'm going into Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. I'm going to use this to just draw a very thin line along my lash line. Like I said before, I was going for a pretty natural sort of glowy look, so I didn't want to do any like crazy wing or anything. But this eyeliner actually works really well for wings and stuff, so it's up to you what you want to do. Now I'm going into NYX Angel Veil. I'm rubbing this all over my face. Uh, I've heard this is very comparable to the Hourglass Primer, so that's why I picked it up. Now I'm going into my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation in Vanille Claire. This is a little bit expensive and it's not readily available at drugstores here in the US. So if you wanted a drugstore option from here, um, you could go with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi for a drier skin tone. And if you have an oily skin tone, I've heard really good things about the new L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation that they just came out with. Now I'm going into NYX HD Concealer. I'm going to use this to brighten my under eyes and any other places that I really wanted to highlight and conceal. I'm going into my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the transparent color, but it is a little bit light, so if you have a darker skin tone, this might be a little too bright for you, but they do have other colors. I'm just using this to set my concealer and to powder down any areas that I normally get shiny and oily. Now I'm going into my NYX Powder Blush in Taupe. This is what I usually use to contour, so I'm sure you've seen me use it before. I really like this for contouring with. I'm going into the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is just a nice peachy blush and it has a nice reflective quality to it as well. So it kind of serves as a highlight, but I am going to highlight because I always highlight. This is the Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Translucent Pearl. What a mouthful. Um, but I heard it was really similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders um, from Makeup Geek or Marlena. Um, it is a little more intense than the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, but it is still like a very nice highlight. It just, I don't think you can use it all over like the Ambient Lighting Powders. and put on some mascara. I'm 
using the voluminous manga rocks mascara um i heard that this is a really good one from tati i think that's how you pronounce her name i sorry if i pronounce it wrong this is supposed to be a very voluminous mascara and i usually like very voluminous mascaras because i don't have a lot of eyelashes so i need some help brow pencil in espresso to fill in my eyebrows. I think that this color may be a tiny bit red for me. It worked okay, but I would have preferred something that was a little bit more of an ashy brown. So I think I may go back and get another one because this is a really nice pencil. I'd say it's comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz and it's half the price. mascara. Uh, honestly, this doesn't really do anything for me. Um, I think it may be better for people who have really light eyebrow hairs. I don't. I just have very sparse brows. So now I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm using that dark brown and the more medium brown to smoke it out. to my NARS Butter Lipstick in Pops. Um, I am using a Sigma lip brush here, but that's just because I don't have the Real Techniques one. I think that any lip brush is as good as the next one. I haven't noticed any difference in any of them that I own, so. I'm gonna go over it with the NYX Butter Gloss and Angel Food Cake. And then to finish it off, I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Thanks for watching. Bye.